Lasso Aviation has gone public with plans for a new Falcon business jet. In a live presentation from its hangar at Paris Le Bourget Airport, the French company used virtual reality to unveil what will be its Falcon 10X ultra long range aircraft. When it enters service in 2025, the largest Falcon built to date will challenge intercontinental rivals like the Bombardier Global 7500 and the Gulfstream G700 with its 7500 nautical mile range. All three of these models are priced at around $75 million. Dassault CEO Eric Trappier had the honor of officially naming the new Falcon, which has been secretly in development under the codename NX. And he was the first to confirm some of the main features of the new design, including Dassault's first ever use of Rolls-Royce engines. And he hinted that there could be more to come. Number one is the engine. We selected the Rolls-Royce to fit our Falcon 10X. The name of this engine is going to be the Pearl uh, 10X, the Pearl 10X for the Falcon 10X. The wing is the key for performances of an aircraft. So the new wing is going totally uh, designed for uh, manufacturing in uh, full carbon uh, capabilities. For the efficiency of the aircraft, the performance of the aircraft, it's a must. We put the bar very, uh, very high uh, at the top. And uh, I would like to thank our teams for the work they have been produced up to now. And I would like to encourage them for the future because there are new steps coming. Dassault believes that no matter where its customers are based, they should be able to enjoy true intercontinental range with very few places around the globe that they cannot fly to non-stop. So let's, for example, take off from New York. Then you will cover uh, all Europe, most of Africa, uh, of course, you can go up to Bangalore, and if you go the other way around, uh, you will reach uh, Shanghai or Beijing with no problem. Now, let's take off from here, uh, Le Bourget, so close to Paris. Then we will cover all the Americas. We can go even to Santiago de Chile, or uh, we can go east, you know, to uh, Tokyo, or Shanghai, uh, Beijing. All those areas will be reached very easily. And we can even go to the uh, northwestern part of Australia. Let's go now from Hong Kong. So from Hong Kong, you will cover North America, Europe, of course, uh, Africa, and, uh, and of course, all the uh, extremists uh, without any problem. Let's not forget our South American friends taking off from Sao Paulo. Then they will go to North America, of course, but they will go to Europe, uh, the Middle East, and a good portion of Asia, and of course, Africa. That could mean spending up to 15 hours in the Falcon 10X cabin. And with a cabin that's 9 feet 1 inch wide and 6 feet 8 inches high, the new aircraft offers more space than both of its immediate competitors, even though their overall cabin volume is almost the same. This has given Dassault's interior designers plenty of room to get creative. The uh, standard configuration of the, uh, of the aircraft is provided with a four lounge cabin. But, you know, just by moving the uh, dividers in each cabin, you can either shrink or extend the length of the cabins, of the sections of the cabins. So uh, even you can cancel one uh, room and say, OK, we have a three lounge cabin. Uh, it will all depend on the needs of the customers. And of course, we will adapt to what better fits their needs. And we associate comfort and productivity. What alters productivity is fatigue and fatigue is a result, for example, of the noise level, the result of the cabin pressure, or, for example, even the, uh, the purity of the air. So, for example, now the uh, cabin pressure is 3,000 feet at 41,000 feet. The noise level will be uh, at least better than the one we have already on the ATEX. We have also the purity of the air, which is in fact uh, provided through uh, the latest generation of filters, and uh, the air itself will be extremely fresh. Well, as you might imagine in a French aircraft, the kitchen is one of the most important areas in the Falcon 10X cabin. In the main lounge area, Dassault's designers have tried to deliver flexibility to allow passengers to move seats to suit their needs, whether they want to be alone or enjoy the flight alongside their fellow travelers. Areas like the bedroom can also be customized to create something that seems like a private apartment. They are looking for comfort. 
they are looking to be able to do whatever they want to do all the time. So continuity and a seamless experience. You need to be able to work, dine, rest in the aircraft the same way that you do underground. And we created an apartment, a penthouse in the sky. To ensure maximum operational flexibility, Dassault's engineering teams have increased the sweep angle of the carbon fiber wing to ensure efficient high-speed crews. Balancing this for low-speed landing performance by expanding the wingspan. The flight deck features the digital flight controls already proven in the Falcon 6X, 7X and 8X aircraft, but extends this capability to the power controls through a new smart throttle. And in the flight deck, there are new multi-touch displays in a new version of Honeywell's Primus Epic Suite. Also new is a recovery mode system that brings the aircraft back to straight and level flight from any position. And with the higher levels of flight automation anticipated in the future, there are fully flat reclining seats so that when regulations permit, the two pilots can take it in turns to rest on long trips. Dassault is launching the 10X with the world still cautiously emerging from the COVID pandemic and wondering how its travel plans may be reshaped by that experience. The company argues that now more than ever, business jets will deliver safety and value to those who depend on them and that its large investment in the portfolio is well justified. Vaccine should be the solution in order to smooth down the effect of such a virus. But we have to know that we will have to live for a long time with virus, whether it is a COVID-19 or some other. So it's also good to have a, a business jet in order to, to fly uh, safe. <laughs>